A new bill in Raleigh could change the way victims of domestic violence testify in court. Two triad lawmakers are co-sponsors of the bill designed to encourage more victims to come forward. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz got reaction from a domestic violence survivor. Right now, victims who choose to testify against someone in a domestic violence case must do it in person. This means that the victim would have to potentially recount the traumatic actions they endured while in the same room with the person responsible. Senate Bill 51 could change that. The bill known as Kayla's Act was presented in the state Senate after Kayla Hammond was killed in Lumberton last year. She was stabbed outside of a grocery store by her ex-boyfriend. Although she had filed multiple reports against him in the past, she was too frightened to testify against him. If the bill were to become law, victims of domestic violence could testify by video without being in the courtroom just feet from their alleged abuser. A large part of their healing comes from simply not being in the atmosphere or not being in the same room as their abuser. Latia Boney and her mother were abused by her former stepfather more than 10 years ago. Had this been law back then, she says that it would have been much easier to testify against him. There was so much resurfaced trauma that came simply from being in the same room with him. Should it pass, I believe it will provide victims uh, with the space to continue to heal. Boney says this bill would not only reduce the anxiety of speaking out against an abuser, but it could also encourage more people to seek help without fear of having to eventually confront that person in a courtroom face to face.